Um, weak signals are uh, activities or traffic that emanate from a threat after compromise that typically aren't detectable. So if you look at normal security technologies, I would say they look for strong signals, right? They look for specific signatures or identifiers of known threats. Weak signals are emanating from advanced threats that are very slow and silent and low and slow that are bypassing many of these traditional security technologies. And that's really one of the areas that we focus is weak signals or indications of compromise that allow us to identify threats on devices that may have compromised those devices through the emanation of those signals. And we can detect those signals either on the device or on the network. So there are a variety of different ways to combine different data points using the big data platform that powers FireAmp in order to detect and remove those threats that are emanating these weak signals. Weak signals are important because the typical advanced threat has actually been hidden and latent for up to one year before it's discovered. That means that enterprise customers are breached, data is being exfiltrated, and they don't know it. An example of a weak signal would be, uh, for example, Java installing applications and executing them when Java should never be doing that. Right? So that's an indicator that we may see, be seeing or experiencing a new Java zero-day vulnerability that we didn't know about or that hasn't been patched. And that's just one example of a weak signal. Another weak signal might be a connection to a specific server on the internet that we know to be compromised and we know to be malicious, um, combined with other activities that follow, such as um, a series of connections followed by an a new application or artifact being created on the system in a certain order. So there are a variety of different weak signals that we can look for that indicate that a system has been compromised.